Here we go. Here we go. Data live Rio reincarnation. Let's go. I got to start with this one right here. New game, please. Let's see how this goes. I don't know what the game's about. Wait, space quakes? Unprecedented disasters caused by the mysterious beings? Spirits? The first occurrence took place 30 years ago on the whatever that is continent, killing 150 million people. This event became known as the whatever that is sky disaster. Six months later, smaller scale disasters appeared all over Japan, ranging from the southern region, including Tokyo, to north of the. Uh, per, uh, uh, these, compri these comprise of South Kanto sky disaster, after which the catastrophe appeared to end. However, an area called Tingu City, a rebuilt city in the heart of South Kanto, began observing tiny space quakes occurring. Shido it, it, Itsuka. Okay, Shido is Itsuka, an ordinary boy living in Tengu City, was a high school student. While searching for his little sister, he witnessed something that I was too slow to read. There, he meets a spirit. And that was too slow to read that, too. There's a whole bunch of other words on the screen that I'm probably going to be too slow to read. I'm just going to click it. And we're going to skip it because uh, th what's the point of reading it if... Uh, man, they must read really fast in Japan. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So I meet I meet this spirit. Um, now we're here. I think something's about to happen with said spirit. Uh, maybe I should have read the f the intro, or at least let it play. That way I can look at it later and understand what the heck is going on. But I didn't. So we're here now. All right. Here we go. The moment I opened the door to the rooftop, I knew it was already starting. I felt my skin tingle from the tense air. Alright, if I would have read some more, I would have known who Toka is, but I don't. I turned around, and there stood a girl I was looking for. Just beyond my gaze, there stood Toka. This is her? Okay, I think she's the spirit. T Toka? Her astral dress was glowing, and the haze of and a haze of purple light came forth from her body. I've got to, I've got to run. There's no way I can. I may be able to do something if it's, if it's, I tried to run, but my body wouldn't listen. The ghostly light from Toka's body charged at me. And that, in that moment, an intense gravity tightened my lungs as if I were plummeting deep into space. But I wouldn't move. I couldn't. Something. I'm reading something here. Something's going on. But I wouldn't stop moving, is what really happened. Bearing the weight, I took one step to get to Tokyo, then another. I felt a strong sense of power welling inside of me. But there was, but where was it going? It's gonna happen. Toka was carrying a large sword, unbefitting of her in her gorgeous dress. Sandalfon pierced the ground, and she clung on to it, her body shaking. Her beautiful hair was dark as night. A doll-like face betrayed signs of pain. As if, as if was standing something severe. Even if you don't want me, I slowly approached Toka, struggling to walk. I, I will never let you be alone. She, being forced to kill him. What's going on, Shido? What's Toka talking about? Sadness overcame her, and she screamed in a way I couldn't believe. The aura emanating from her body was even stronger than before. T Toka! If I faltered even a little, the light would surely blast me away. I resisted and reached my arm out to Toka. <laughs> Toka's expression was full of despair. Just then, I felt a power surging through me, 
I had no idea where it came from. But what happened? Sandalfoot Sandalfoot gripped and took his hands, seemed to answer to it. It suddenly gave off a powerful bargaining light. At this rate, Toka will. Toka! And then what happened? The sword exploded and everybody died. In the end. As the sound of Toka's screams rang in my ears, my vision turned white, and my consciousness was and my consciousness was severed. Now I'm gonna be in my room. It was all a dream. Oh wait, no, hold on. There's somebody else here. Oh. Okay. Creepy. Hmm? What? Whose voice is that? I feel like I know it, but I don't. There is one thing I know for sure. That voice is so warm and filled with kindness. Uh, hey, wait. When I woke up, I saw a familiar face. It's Toka. Uh, Toka? <laughs> okay. A little excited to see me. I mean, come on. Oh. What, she just hugged me or something? Toka, that hurts. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I... Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. What is going on? I looked around the room. Um, the girl looking at me with such worry was Toka, uh, Yodagami. Despite her human appearance, she is actually a spirit, a being with great powers. Seeing Toka's bright smile, my mind was made up. Humans and spirits shouldn't harm one another. If there was no other way, I would save the spirits myself. And... I still took his powers. Come to think of it. Wait, hold on. My days have been filled with dates ever since I met her. So, what does he mean that he, f he sealed her powers? Uh, that's not it. I just don't know what's going on. I tried to ask her what's happening, but before I knew it, Toka had stepped away from the bed with her with her back toward me. Hmm. What? The Toka? Okay. Alright, I'll stay right here. Uh oh. Oh what do you mean, Toka? Um. Well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. Wait, wait. Don't, don't. What's the matter, me? Okay, is that a bad translation? That, uh, that might be a bad translation. There, I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to get out. What are you doing, Toka? Um, am I? Am I feeling sick? Uh, yeah, I'm making it all over, but... Oh, I know what she's doing. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Do it. Warm me up. Warm me up, please. Hi! No, oh, okay. Um, what? Talka, stop, stop. Please, calm down. I'm not, I'm not refusing. That's, that's not what I'm saying at all. It's not the issue. Oh, who's Katori? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm up. Could you please leave? Could you please leave? Uh, Toka and I have some business to attend to. Thank you. Hey, hey Katori. 
What do you mean? Tori? Did, did I do something wrong? Or what? I'm already, I'm kind of confused as to what's going on. I just know that Katori has ruined a possibly beautiful moment. What, what, what are you talking about? I, uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I can't remember anything. Tori looked over at Toka briefly, then back at me. What? Okay. I don't know about that, but okay. Hmm. Well, excuse me. <laughs> wow. Rude. Alright, just forget it. Just forget it. I gotta relax here. I gotta sit back and relax. Hmm? Wait, what? What was I trying to do with Toka on the bed? What? I wasn't trying to do anything. No, Toka was worried about me and... Uh... Wow. Listen to me. <laughs> wow. No, I'm not. I feel really sick. I need, I need to be warmed up. Okay. Yes, please. And she's a spirit, right? So it's okay. Hey, Katori. No, no, Toka. I'm totally fine now. It's the thought that counts. I feel all better now. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I can't control this. I can't control it. I, I can't make choices right now. Yeah, I promise. She is bummed out about it. I say let her have some happiness too. Right? Hmm. What's the matter? Sure. Alright, so maybe you can tell me. What happened to me? Not really. Nope. Not at all. I mean, maybe I just need, uh, you know, some more cuddles or something. I don't know. This night one is Katori Itsuka, otherwise known as my little sister. Now that makes sense. She's always going to be ruining things. The whole time, she's going to be ruining things. Her personality changes depending on the color of her, of her ribbon. What ribbon? I don't see a ribbon unless they're counting the things in her hair ribbons. When she's wearing white, she's carefree and adorable. To the point where you actually kind of want to mess with her. But when her ribbon is black, so is her current state. You'd be an idiot to upset her. She has such a mouth. She has such a mouth on her that there's no way to win. So is her ribbon black right now? Must be. I call this her commander mode. As Katori leads the organization known as Rat... Uh, whatever the heck that is. I'm just going to call it Rata. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm calling it Rata. I was looking at it like, how do you pronounce it? Nope. From aboard the airship called the Fraxinus. Rata from, from Fraxinus. Okay. While Katori is charged with protecting the spirits as the commander of Rata, she herself has spirit powers as well. 
It was recently discovered that someone gave her these powers that turned her into a spirit. Despite her age, Katori bears a lot of responsibility from that role. I know she needs to be tough, but seeing my innocent little sister turn out this way was sort of a shock. But when I was struggling, Katori stood by my side as family. No matter how much Katori changed, I would do anything for her. And who the heck is this? Yoshinan? Yoshinan? Sure, Yoshinan. I'm gonna call her Yoshinan. Okay, and uh, what does she want? Who, who was talking? Was it the puppet? Hey, Yoshino. What were you? Uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> you were here too? Um, I think. Who's Yoshino? Uh huh. Supposedly he's fine aside from his head. What? T -tok T Toka? What? What? Oh, nothing. Well, whatever. Where? What just happened? Why are they all concerned about me? I thought I was with. I thought I was with Toka, like, previously. The head part didn't concern you, did it? This awkward little girl. Is she. Yoshino. She was the second spirit I met. She's very, she's very quiet. Quiet, that's right, okay. She's very quiet and abnormally shy. She somehow managed to open up to us enough to talk, but it took a while to get to this place. Hmm, excuse me. That's about it for, that's about it for introductions. And then her puppet, okay. Is she Yoshino? And then if the puppet's talking, is Yoshinan? I don't know. Oh, so, oh, sorry, sorry. You exist too, Yoshinon. Okay. All right. Uh, so Yoshino is basically just crazy. Sorry, I was talking to Yoshino and I forgot. That's right. I can't forget Yoshinon. Yoshinon is a rabbit puppet and Yoshino's friend. Yoshino's other personality is channeled through this little one. Yoshino would never hurt. Yoshino would never hurt someone. She's kind. In fact, she's probably too kind. But her extreme shyness makes her panic, and she risks freezing everything around her. So she may be quiet, but she still has the powers of a spirit. Yoshino loves to talk, and is something of an outlet to control Yoshino, so she won't accidentally hurt someone. I think now I'm done with the introductions. And who is this? The doctor, of course. The doctor is in. How do I feel? Um. Uh, how how is her name? Can I just call her Rain? I'm gonna call her Rain. If that's the like the wrong pronunciation. Too bad. What do you want me to do? Rain-san, your, your face, it's too close. Uh, okay. The one who just came in, but clearly looks more tired than I do, is Rain Murasami. Rain Murasami-san. She's a very talented analyst for Rat Rata and Katori's right hand. She analyzes and monitors the spirits and anything relating to them. She should be very intelligent, but she can but she can never seem to remember my name. She suddenly transferred to my school, Raisin. Raisin? The school's name is Raisin? Anyway. And is my assistant homeroom teacher, so I see her often. She always has a teddy bear in her chest pocket. I can't help but stare at it. She's mysterious. But generally a very nice and dependable but generally very nice and dependable, I think. Probably right. Did she fall down? Hey, rain sun. Oh, she just she just fell down. She did fall down. She's so tired. I know. Uh, but shouldn't you be the one? 
I know, but shouldn't you be the one wrestling Rain san? Okay. What about you? All right, I'll drink it, but uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, sure. <laughs> Did I have an outburst? I guess I had an outburst. Don't, uh, don't. What's the matter, me? What is going on? Explain. Toka squeezes me awake. Toka squeezes me awake. Katori and uh, Katori and Yoshino charge into my room, and you're. Well, okay, I, I got. I get how I'm supposed to say this now. Toka squeezes me awake. Katori and Yoshino charge into my room, and you're giving me medicine to recover. Did I contract some kind of awful? <laughs> okay. Hori. 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 Oh, I'm trying to say Katori. I don't know. Hori. Hori. Are you. Blah. Sorry. It, it's not like that. Hey, Katori. Don't just push me in a... Oh, was I in her... Okay. Don't, don't just push me in a range... Chest like that? What was it? Uh, I guess that would count as a special technique, wouldn't it? But problem? Don't use Rain's and chest like that. It's, don't use Rain's and chest like it's some sort of treatment center. Wow. The ladies here are really, uh, you know, ready just to help me any way they can. Very interesting. What? Straight from the treatment center herself. Okay, all right. I get it. I get it. I, hey, no arguments from me. Oh, no, I'm fine. Uh, th thank you. Forget that. Can you be serious for a second and tell me what's going on? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to remember something I haven't even done yet. Huh? No, I don't. When she pressed me like that, I started to get nervous. Clearly something happened to me. But no matter how much I tried, I couldn't remember anything. Rather, I had no idea how I ended up like this. What I could barely remember was that I had a dream. But that shouldn't have anything to do with this. Been locked out for three days, okay. What? Wait a minute. Three days? Did, did you just say three days? Wow. Okay. I was asleep in the uh, infirmary at uh, Fraxinus for three days. Oh, I just got back to my own bed this morning. Okay. Crazy. Oh, it was bawling. <laughs> Alright. But, I mean, what do you want me to say? And why was I out for so long? I don't remember doing anything leading up to that. Oh. Well, I do. I do remember that. I thought it was a dream. Toka? You went berserk? What do you mean by that? Okay, here she is. So this really happened, right? And then... I'm, I'm remembered. That's right. Back then I... It was when I was chatting with Toka in the classroom. We were talking about how, how I'd been sick lately and how there was a new item at the bread shop I liked. We were just chatting about nothing. Just then, Toka looked like she was in pain and ran out of the classroom. I rushed to follow her and ran upstairs to the rooftop. 
And there I found Toka. Uh huh. There's no way I can. Now remember this part. Even if you don't want me, I, I'll never let you be alone. But I don't know why, why she would kill me. Choka. Remember this part. Yeah, and then what happened? Nothing still. Okay, I'm. I don't. I'm not gonna remember anything after that. So, but I do remember that. I guess I must have been knocked out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. But I couldn't just leave Toko alone like that. Besides, my body can take the damage. Well, I guess sometimes it can't. Uh, <laughs> Why did she fall down? Is she tired too? Well, what are you doing? A corkscrew in my gut? That's dangerous. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> Katori was referring to my abnormal ability to heal from damage whenever I got hurt. Her power was sealed inside of me, which made it possible. Okay. Until now, I relied on this power almost carelessly, but I honestly didn't know how much healing I could actually do. S sorry, that was my fault completely. Yeah, that is what makes me Shido. Yeah. I have no words. No guarantees. No guarantees. I'm a pretty reckless guy. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be a little bit less reckless if I could die. Huh? But I thought I had your powers, Katori. Oh, what's the other problem? Oh, shit. I didn't let her finish talking. Yeah, what problem? Wait, hold on, am I losing power? What, what? Uh, isn't this the first time that it's happened? Wait, this isn't the first time it's happened, is it? Uh oh. It's different. Not good. I have no idea. I have no clue what's going on. Yeah, no clue. I just felt the power inside me leave. That's all. Um. Hmm. I guess I was a little tired that day. Okay. I'm sorry. I know it's my body and all, but I can't seem to give any useful feedback. Right. 
今精霊たちは皆不安定な状態と言っていいそして力が逆流し続けている以上君を守っていた精霊の顔は今はない Now I have no powers. I'm a normie. So that means. Darn it. What? Guess. So you're telling me one wrong move and I could have died? So you could. <laughs> That'll be very, very sad. Oh, don't worry about it, Toka. See, look, I'm completely safe. Oh. What? Oh, interesting. What? Yoshino? Interesting. You'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry. It's fine. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I, I see. That's good. Right. I'm sorry. Th this is all my fault. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks, Yosh Yoshinan. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, I know, but don't you think it's inappropriate? Like, in so many ways? Hmm? No, I'm not. Wait, hold on. Were you perhaps expecting something in particular? Oh, uh. So, wait, no, I, no I'm not. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not rattled. I'd probably deny it. Oh, wait, I wasn't expecting anything specific. I just, you know, it would be an issue. It would be an issue for any healthy male in high school. No, uh, what? No, I was just wondering if there's any other way. I, I didn't mean it like that. Wow. <laughs> She's not gonna let it down. She's not gonna let it go easy. Uh, what? What? No! They're all ganging up on me. No! Come on. Okay, I was wrong. Whatever. I'll be responsible for, bo uh, for both of them. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Right. I get to live with the puppet. Yeah! 
ヨシノを止めるのは初めてだけど多分問題はないでしょう一緒に暮らしてた方が何かと安心だしね I don't know if it's safer また指導と一緒あまあ、what? それはあれだいいと思うぞヨシノも一緒だしなはい。いや、you're right。Why does it feel so awkward? 何だらしない顔してんの ?Does it feel awkward? 鼻の下、床まで付きそうなくらい伸びてるわよ。Nothing's cooking. What? 病院よりも、警察に電話した方がいい。Oh, cops, what are you talking about? D don't! Alright. It's getting out of hand. What's the matter, Toka? Okay. Yeah, you too. That's right. Wait. Do you want to eat anything? I'll prepare something. Sorry, Toka. Not that. Okay, I don't know. Alright. Yeah, sure. Okay. I forgot to ask, but how about you, Katori? Huh? Huh? Yeah, what? You seem to be totally fine, but you're a spirit too, right? Are you okay? Okay. Oh, really? I thought it would be a good idea that you're with us too, but. Oh, I just thought you might be even more stable if I'm nearby too. I wanted to check with you, but what? Okay. She'll be stable. It's all good. We're fine. What, really? Okay. She fell down again. <laughs> what are you doing, Katori? I mean. Who drop kicks a sick person? Did she drop kick me just now? Oh my god. No. That's not what's happening here. Oh, what? I, I would never do anything like that. Uh. Oh, um. Katori? Why does she look so sad? Oh, well. I said it for you. If I could protect you, wouldn't that be better? Okay. That's pretty messed up. Huh? Exactly. Huh? What? サロンドボヌールの限定ミルクレープ10個。まあ、小鳥もあれで。15個。あは。すまないし、今のは私の勘違いだった。All right. Oh, come on. Don't be bribed right in front of me. 
一体何の話だね Never mind. So, okay. But no matter how stable you are, there's a chance that you could go berserk too, right, Katori? Then. Okay. That's all I wanted. Sure, 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 sure. Are you still talking? Alright. Yep, I got it. Okay, you're absolutely right. I should rest. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. Rainson clearly looks more unhealthy than I do, but she took out the thermometer. Oh, we should clean the body, huh? Okay. Oh! <laughs> I, I hope somebody cleaned me. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, alright, we learned a little secret about Katora here. Rain san. Uh, um, I can wash up and get changed by myself. I sprung up and saw the room spin around me. Ah! I don't know what's happening right now. Well, I, I, I'm not all right. Not only did I almost lose consciousness, I thought I'd never come back. Okay, okay. I guess we'll forget whose fault this was. I, I lost energy to fight back and just weakly lay down to rest. Tori was just watching it all unfold. Alright. Oh, then she's still talking. Oops. Alright. Simple enough, right? Yeah, as it to Toga, if it's okay, I'll wash myself. Hold on. Thank you. 
丈夫かすまない古傷に触ってしまったかもしれんやいらい。I had I had muted myself like a couple minutes ago and I forgot to unmute. Damn it. Oh well. I had to keep muting because、uh, there's a lot of extra background noise here for a second. Uh yeah, luckily it was just luckily it was just for a second. What? Why is there more? Oh, I mean, sure. Thank you. All right, yeah, you can hear me now, right? Hopefully. Um, all right, where are we at? Where are we at? They're washing me. Need to wash you more gently, right? Yeah, of course, of course. And why don't I? Wa okay. Where are you wiping? No, no, not there. I don't know where she's wiping. Yeah, I'll be, I think I'll be fine. No, no, it's not like that. Don't worry. Then let me wipe you more. Okay. Sure, wipe me more. No, 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 don't do any more.、Uh, and pants are required. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, no. I'm starting to make a mess. Damn it. My wife gave me part of her wrap, but I'm dropping. I'm dropping pieces of it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Toka. I'm. Wait, what? You didn't leave a spot. <laughs> Katora, you. <laughs> yeah, I need this pizza. I'm gonna try to take a bite of this. She's just gonna keep cleaning while I do this. I just wanna bite. Alright, here we go. I'm not. Mm hmm. Yoshina, um.、Uh, oh no, I can't take it. Are we good? Hopefully, we're good. Developing fever? I just hot from all these girls around. Alright. This is poisonous. In so many different ways. I'm sure my fever went up for other reasons. Exactly. And the girls? K Katori, you totally knew that would happen. And you just let it happen, didn't you? Yeah, right, Katori's evil. What does she think her brother is? Alright. Okay. <laughs> さっきより具合が悪そうだが本当に平気か
Little sisters are evil. Yeah, I'm fine, I think. Um, thanks, Tolka. <laughs> of course she's excited. <laughs> okay, oh. This guy's weird. Mm-hmm. Mm, don't worry about it. Thanks for visiting. Thanks, you two. She's taking too long. It's taking too long to say what she's got to say. Yeah, got it. I hope your checkup goes well, Yoshino. Alright, yeah, see ya. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, she's a little worried, I think. Um, did you... What, what did you say, Katori? See, she's worried. She's a little bit worried. Yeah, I will. Alright, what's going on? Oh, I guess I gotta go night-night. Gosh. I let out a big sigh and stared at the ceiling. I couldn't get the last image of Katori out of my mind. She seemed so worried. Now that everyone's gone, I feel lonely. Is that really sappy? <laughs> at the end of the day, I realize spending time with them is really precious. All this chaos has become the norm. In order for me to be able to stay with them, I'll need to recover quickly as possible. Alright. Hmm. Hmm? I wonder what time it is. Not really. I woke up and looked at the clock. It seemed I'd been asleep for a few hours. Come to think of it, I wonder how Origami's doing? She wasn't here to check up on me? Origami? So we got another person? Things got twisted when Origami thought Katori murdered her parents. Hold on. I haven't been able to talk to her lately. I wonder if she hates me now. I know it's selfish of me, but I wonder if there's any way that Origami or and Katori, no, all the spirits could get along. Huh. <laughs> I wish Origami could pay me a visit. Watch her pop up. Who knows? As I thought hard, I drifted off into sleep. Taking a bite. It's another bite of food time. Mmm. For some reason, I just got a little deja vu playing this game. Like, I feel like I have have played a visual novel on stream before with flaming watching. And, uh, yeah, I just got a little deja vu from it. Hmm? What the? There's something in my bed. Wait. He said that like with questioning. There's something in my bed? Oh, hello. 
Uh, origami? Nani? <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, well, uh, paying me a visit. So, oh. I mean, yeah, I am. Uh, I see. Thanks. Hey, wait, no. How did you get in, Origami? Oh, that, that's trespassing. Yeah. She's got a point. Not if you don't tell anyone. You know. This is Origami, whatever that last name is. She's my classmate and super prodigy of Raisin High School. Her grades are always ranked number one in the class, let alone the country. To top it off, she's athletic and basically a perfect all-rounder. Her pale skin and unreadable expression give her a mysterious vibe. She seems a bit intimidating. Last year, she made it into the top three of the school's unofficial dream girlfriend rankings. Okay, however, she's earned the nickname Permafrost for being such a hard to get cool girl, or so people say. But that could be all wrong. You see, she is. Wait, she's in the AST and Anti Spirit Division of the Self Defense Force? Toka, Yoshino, uh, Kurumi, and Katori, Origami has battled them all in order to defeat the spirit that killed her parents. And recently, the culprit was thought to be my sister, Katori. So, I had to fight against her. Somehow, Origami listened to me and we were able to avoid the worst, but... I haven't spoken to her since then. Okay. There's a lot of backstory, huh? Hey, wait! Hey, uh... uh Origami-san! What are you doing? I thought we already did it. That's not what I mean. Where you gotta go? Ah. Mm, I'm sure it will. <laughs> now when you say there's a lot of backstory are we talking about a lot of backstory is that a popular thing now or something I literally just heard the same thing earlier. <laughs> don't assume to understand a lot. Okay. I typically don't with these games. The the Japanese visual novel some uh, confused me quite easily. Anyways, uh, just don't take your clothes off. Okay. Okay. This guy is such a prude. He's had so many opportunities and he's turned them all down. Because I just, I, I said no. Just no taking off clothes allowed. What a wiener. Uh oh. Katori? Oh no. I'm back. <clears throat> um, why the oops? I'm trying to get back on track here. Anyway, Katori and uh, Origami are in the same room together. Wait, Origami, please. Can you calm down? P please. She's paying me a visit, that's all. I was I was out for so long, she came to check in on me. Right, Origami? Huh? 
最近のお見舞いって泥棒猫みたいにベランダからベッドに潜り込むことを言うのね知らなかったわカトーリーイフリート今日はあなたと戦うために来たわけじゃない指導のお見舞いはそれよりも重要うん<笑>命拾いができて光栄だわ<笑> All right, there's a lot of tension in here. You guys, I, I shouldn't let them be in the same room any longer.、Uh, Origami,、uh, just go home for today. Oh, I know. I feel bad. Right? You, you do that. Thanks for paying me a visit. I appreciate it. Later. Bye. Okay, rude. What? No, no, I wasn't. I, wa I wasn't looking for anything. Really? Whoa, I don't have the guts? No, you're probably right, because this guy is such a prude. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Wow. You're such a bitch. I feel like I'm the older brother, too. Why do you have to go out of your way to say it? Oh, Vice Commander,、uh, whatever her name is, said that it's not a crab brain, it's actually an intestine. <laughs> no, nothing. ここに来た本題を話さないとねどうやら思いのほか厄介なことに巻き込まれてるみたいなのよこの天宮市自体が OK The whole of Tengu city? Oh, what do you mean? 天宮市全域に及ぶ範囲でとても強い礼派を探知したの OK Does that mean 精霊が絡んでるその可能性が高いわまだはっきりとした確証がない限り断定はできないもしかしたら AST の実験を行っていた可能性もあるし AST? Rada and the AST are the only ones using the realizer in Tengu City There's a big chance they were experimenting Then that means origami AST ではここまでの礼派を出すのは難しいと思うけどね Okay. I see. Alright. Could be. Makes sense. There's like a little bug flying right in front of my face. What? No way. You have a point. Mm, I see. What? You can't get a hold of them. What could this mean? Don't you think that's a pretty big deal? I see. Hmm. 
Okay. I see. Seriously, what is going on? Huh? Who else is here? Oh. <laughs> okay, probably. What? Why are you telling me? Okay, I'll do my best. Sure, sure. Like I said, I'll, I'll do what I can. Alright, I guess I better. Um, she's waiting for uh, Katori to leave, probably. So she can go in, give me in and give me hugs. Uh, okay. Alright, we already read this part. When a spirit appears in the world, a space quake occurs involuntarily. As the name implies, it's an earthquake in space. A massive force bears down on the region, explodes, leaving nothing but a smoking crater. Interesting, interesting. Uh, it was observed, uh, it was first observed 30 years ago. Eurasia's center disappeared. Over 150 million people, or just over 150 million were killed in the largest calamity in mankind's history, also known as the Eurasia Sky Disaster. Just as they had sparked in the beginning, small-scale space quakes began to occur throughout the world. We kind of got part of this in the, uh, the, like, uh, precursor or whatever story. I, I don't, whatever you want to call it. That's why the spirits that cause them are known as harbingers of disaster, earning the ire and fear of the people around them. The city in which we live, Tingu City, was once the site of such an event. On that spot, a town was built to test the latest technology. I was living a normal, average life when she arrived. Spring break had ended and my life as a sophomore began on April 10th. On that day, I met my first spirit. There she is. I remember as if it were yesterday. The city was destroyed and there was a huge crater in the ground as if a meteor had struck. In the crater of it all, she stood. I couldn't take my eyes off her. She had taken my heart in an instant. She was so beautiful, almost otherworldly. What do you mean almost otherworldly? She was 100% otherworldly, right? Her powers had the potential to destroy the world. And because of that, she was reviled and attacked by humans. She fought in her despair. I could just, I just couldn't bring myself to think that she was the world's enemy. Not only that, I wanted to save her from her sadness. And my wish came true in the oddest way. A secret organization formed to protect the spirits. Vittori, commander of Rada, told me of my ability to seal the spirits' powers. If successful, then I would be able to save the spirits. However, that means to do so was however, the means to do so was shocking to say the least. It was to make the spirits fall in love. In other words, I needed to spend as much time with them as I could and gain their affection. With the help of Katori and the members of Rada, I began my interactions with the spirits. All right. I was able to save to uh, Toka, Yoshino, and Katori, who regained their power, who regained, uh, 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 who regained her powers in order to protect me. Origami's parents were murdered by a spirit five years ago. She didn't approve of my actions. However, she has slowly grown to understand me. Who the heck is this? There was one spirit I couldn't save. A girl who transferred my school without hiding that she was a spirit. A girl with black hair. Karumi. Does she have a clock in her eyeball? What it kind of looks like. And there. I had an itch right under my hat. Okay. As for her, there were a lot of instances that made me doubt her. Neither Toka nor Yoshino bore any ill will toward anyone. However, 
Kurumi was different. Kurumi killed people of her own volition. After hearing this from Toka, I decided to save Kurumi once more. Kurumi was the other me. Kurumi was the other me. Okay. She claimed that if she hadn't met me and instead stayed alone in her suffering, she would have grown insane. What Kurumi, was, what Kurumi did was something you can't just forgive. But even if that were the case, I wanted to be the one who could forgive her. I wanted to give her a chance to start over. But my wish didn't come true. Kurumi was defeated by Katori and disappeared. During that time, I met a girl claiming to be my real life sister. Wait, my real little sister. Okay. Mana Taka... Taka... Takamiya. Injured during the battle with Kurumi. She, oh, she's in the hospital? Okay. Taka, Yoshino, Kurumi, Katori, and Origami. Although... She isn't a spirit. Ever since I met them, I... Uh, okay, this one... This is a little confusing. Anyway, I'll keep going. Who do you see is? This is my real little sister? Hmm? Who's that? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that was a flash of the girl who uh, is claiming to be my real little sister. And you wouldn't know who your real little sister is. It's confusing to me. But uh, anyway, I, was, I, guess, I guess, was I daydreaming? What's going on here? I woke up, but I still couldn't distinguish reality from the dream. A strange, flowy sensation lingered. The girl I saw in the, at the end. Um, I thought back on the girl who seemed like family, but whom I couldn't recognize. I changed and headed for the living room. Hey, we're finally seeing a different scene! Um... Why, why are you asking me when's breakfast? Aren't you making it? S sorry, sorry. W wait, huh? Uh. She, she's really, really shy. Good morning. Why are you two here? Oh, yeah. they, live, they live with us now. Uh, oh, right. I guess he did say something like that. Alright. Alright. Yep. Uh, hey, don't blame me. My head still feels fuzzy. I'm not at my best. Whoa, I wasn't doing anything with origami. <laughs> yeah, come on. You know I didn't do that. Wow, rude. Yeah, why are you being why are you being rude? Why are you attacking my my individuality, my sexuality? Why are you attacking me? No, no, Toka, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I only have eyes for you. Nothing happened. Don't worry, Toka. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Is she a jealous girlfriend type? I don't know if we're dating, but I feel like she's a I feel like she's a jealous girlfriend. Uh, um, uh, what is it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Basically, don't make them jealous. They have to be in love for things to work out. I don't know what happens if they are upset, angry, or jealous. So, yeah, I know. I know I gotta be careful. 
Victoria's right. I need to be careful. All right. Let's have some breakfast. We'll be late. Hey, breakfast. What? Oh. Um, can I go ahead and make one gripe? One complaint about uh, visual novels like this. I don't know if it's just the way, um, if it's just a, the Japanese style of doing visual novels or if it's certain publishers or developers. Oh, excuse me. There's a lot of uh, um, exposition, right? There's a lot of talk, a lot of exposition, a lot of dialogue, whatever you want to call it. Not a whole lot. And I mean, there's also a lot of, um, there's all, all the characters are a little bit more animated than a typical visual novel, but the scenes don't change very often at all. Obviously I hear bacon sizzling. They're in the kitchen, they're cooking, but we're still standing in the living room and we probably will be for the entirety of breakfast. Um, I think that's kind of a, a gripe for me. Hey, Katori, are you the days too? I always make. What? See? Yeah, all right. I I'm almost done. I guess they're hungry. Don't rush me. I'm almost done. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, if the story is good, it won't be too bad. But there are some that aren't the stories aren't that good. Um, and then I just get bored. I get bored of looking at the same screen for too long. This one so far is not too bad. It, it's fine. I'm just saying. With the hungry token now satisfied, we're able to finish up breakfast. I headed toward the door, excited to go to school. And, uh, another game that I would say would fit the bill of the scenery doesn't really change that much. However, it was a it was a great visual novel that I thoroughly enjoyed. It would be like Doki Doki Literature Club. That scenery is very stagnant the whole time. But it was a, an amazing story. At least I thought so. I was thoroughly entertained, especially when things got crazy. Anyway, back to this game. Back to this story right here. Okay, everybody? Okay, Yoshino, can you stay home? She's like, yeah, I'd love to stay home, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. Don't worry about me. Later, everybody. I'm going to school. Yay! Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a good day. Thank you. We're going on a trip, Banner. Oh, hold on. What? Sorry. <laughs> I asked Yoshino and Yoshino, uh, Yoshino to take care of the house. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ. I'll be careful. Let's go. Hey, wait. Huh? Huh? What's that? What? Before me stood the usual house of scenery I was used to, but beyond that, in the center of town, stood this abnormally shaped building. It stood so, uh, it stood out so obviously from the buildings around it, almost as if it were from another world. <laughs> Okay, do I not know what this is? 
Really? Neo Tengu Tower? That thing? Uh, I have a feeling it's not good. Really? Did this thing really exist? I totally don't remember. Rather, there's no way I wouldn't notice a building like that. Who? Someone called my name, and I turned around to see a girl standing there. Hey, it's that girl that I saw in the, the daydream. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, are you, um... Huh? Oh, it's Rin. What the fuck? Rin? Is it Rin or Rine? Oh, she was waiting for us? Interesting. Uh, uh, that's right. How could I forget? Rene uh, Sonogami. She's almost as close to me as Katori. Rene lives next door, and we've been classmates ever since we were little. We've been together all that time, too. Our parents got along, so it was natural that she was always around. I don't know whether to feel pathetic or just thankful, but until I met Origami and Toka, Rene was my only female friend. My parents, all, uh, my parents always out of town. Rene would uh, drop by every morning to make breakfast for Katori and me. She even helps with cleaning the, and laundry and stuff. In other words, she's like family and a very precious childhood friend. I don't want to be ranting. You know, maybe I'm not at my best yet. But I'm fine. Don't worry. Yeah, that's true. Thanks. What's the matter, Rene? Oh, what? Do I have a... Do I have an erection? Huh? Uh-oh. Don't drag it out. Oh, that's what you noticed. We're gonna be late. Okay, I thought she noticed like uh, I had a ha I was at half mast or something, something poking out the top of my pantalones. Uh, what? Uh, why didn't you say so, Rene? Let's run. Hi. Come on, Toka, Katori, let's go. Yeah, you better run. Let's go! And that's how my life at school started up again. My days with Toka, uh, Yoshino, Katori, Origami, and Rine. If I'm saying it right. I don't know if it's Ren or Rine. Anyway, today would be a start of another day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Monday, June 26th. Actually, it's Friday, June 9th. I assume I'm mispronouncing them all. Um, there's some that I figured out I'm pronouncing right because I've heard them pronounce them. I'm like, yeah, okay, close enough. And there's some names that I just changed so I can say them easier. What the f mm -mm -mm -mm. What are you doing in my room? I'm gonna start talking to people and squeeze my boobies together. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, did I just get a whole bunch more subscribers? <laughs> um, oh, Rin. You know, I'll call her Rin. Rin's easier to say. Good morning. It is, isn't it? It seems like it. Uh, 
<laughs> um, I was tossing and turning, huh? Yeah, I mean, my bed's over there, so I, I assume I'm already up. I'm fine. I'll, I'll get up. Oh, I would love some breakfast. Ren, you're really one in a million. Yeah, Toko. Toko might think so, and then the world will end. No, I'm serious. I wish that uh, I could be like you. Undeserved. Undeserved. Okay, I, I mean, I didn't mean it. Like, literally, that I, I wish I wanted to be like you. All right. But uh, I'm as average as can be. Not at all. I can think of plenty of likable things about you. Like, um, and that, uh, and, well, you know what? I can't think of anything right now. Anyway, anyway, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be late again because we're talking too much. Oh, yeah. Huh? Uh, guess I'll get dressed right away then. Ah! I see that. I see you're still here. This is happening though. Oh, right. Sorry, Ren. I bet uh, Toka would be fine with me getting changed in front of her. Okay, so Shido's a prude. Ren's a prude. <laughs> Crap, I did it again. I guess old habits die hard. Well, anyways, I'd better hurry up and get dressed. Ah, who's coming up? Oh, damn, this girl is such a clinger. T Toka? She wanted to see me naked. Why do you look so upset? Whoa. What? Tori, what have you been telling her? No, Toka, you heard wrong. <laughs> uh, you see, it's because I prefer to be woken up gently. Right. What the fuck is with these girls? Man, they're all like, so clingy. I mean, I would like to be in a room full of girls as much as the next guy, but I would lose my mind in this house. And obviously one person already has. Oh, uh, it's Yoshino and y Yoshino. Morning. Mm. At least I'll have that to look forward to next time. Hmm? Uh, what's up, Toka? What do you want to tell me? Come on. Talk to me. What is it? Uh, okay. She obviously doesn't know, huh? Toka, what are you planning to do? Okay, hold on. No, let's see. What were you planning to do if I had been asleep? Please, educate me. Uh, 
Uh, okay, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Uh, well, hmm. No, it's not like that. Um, how do I put this? I think it's a different kind of danger um, than what the one you're thinking of, Toka. No, uh, it's not like that either. Simply put, a drop kick is a two-footed kick delivered in midair. Mm. Yeah, it is. And that is so. Hold on. It does. She's an attractive girl, but she's also an idiot. Wait, that wasn't an invitation to do it, though. <laughs> anyway, Toka and Yoshino, I'm gonna get dressed. So, would you two mind, uh, you know, going on ahead? You too. Shoo. What? Uh, Yoshino? Would you mind joining her downstairs? Oh, I think they wanted to watch. Yeah, I, I think they wanted to watch. Finally, they're gone. When everyone's here, the mornings are pure chaos. But there's some comfort to be found in this kind of chaos, I suppose. Wow. Um, I feel like anything that's gonna be on the extreme is gonna be channeled through the puppet. Obviously, the girl. But I think she's going to channel all her vices and everything through the puppet. If if one of them was a smoker or a, an addict, it would be the puppet as well. Neatly laid out on the dining table was the breakfast Rin had prepared. White rice, miso soup with tofu and green onion. Fried fish and an omelet. She even had natto seaweed and pickles as sides. I don't know what natto is or if I'm even saying it right, but that does sound like a fun breakfast. <laughs> All the makings of a traditional Japanese breakfast. I could never whip up a meal this elaborate by myself. If that's a traditional Japanese breakfast, I want breakfast in Japan. All right. What are you doing? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
にできないということかえおかわりChan has been hitting on Ren since this morning. Ren's not gonna like that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hold on. Rival? Right, Rival, what, what are you two gearing up? For battle or something? So, we know Yoshino likes Shido. Ren likes Shido. We know for sure that What's Her Nuts likes Shido. Oh no. Uh oh. I may not know what's going on, but I can tell when I'm being mocked. Oh, she's wearing her white ribbon today. Wear that white ribbon all you want, little sister. You're still evil. Hey, Katori, you better not be a bad influence on Doka. If I get drop kick while I'm sleeping, then there'll be hell to pay. Rude. Jeez. Nothing. Don't mind us, Toka. Just enjoy your breakfast. Sure, it's all yours, Katori. Wait, I, I would have eaten it. Right. But then you'll be hungry, won't you, Ren? Um, but, but. Gonna feed me, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh no, it's gonna end poorly. Oh no, <laughs> no. Oh no, I hope Yoshinan doesn't gonna try to feed me too. You might have. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Anyways, we can all take turns next time, okay? If everyone gets a turn, 
I'll be late. Uh, he had a good excuse. I thought we were about to get stuffed. Okay, yeah, sure. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, if and only if the time comes. Thank God. Seems like those girls really went for it. Wait, what? Where was I looking? Uh, I'll be careful. Where was I looking? What? <laughs> Come to think of it, I haven't checked the weather yet today. Thanks, Ren. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. Hmm? My ears couldn't help from perking up as I recognized the name of the city on the news. Hmm. Ah, oh, looks like they haven't found him yet. Alright. Apart from the space quakes, I figured this town was pretty peaceful, but lately it seems like we've got nothing but depressing news. Oh. Man, first the missing zookeeper and now pets? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. I doubt they're being abducted by aliens, Katori. And who would that be? I don't know. It could be an omen. Sure seems like one. Maybe it's that tower thing that's in the sky. Are we going to have actual battles? Don't say stuff like that. Well, at least we won't have to worry about being attacked. I think. <laughs> well, that'd be like our thirds. Can you have seconds after you've already had seconds? <laughs> okay, she's too literal. What happens? Oh, what was that? Toka? Uh oh, she about to go berserk again? Is she having a spiritual rampage? Okay, that was weird. Okay, don't lose it. Uh, yeah, I think it was Katori's way of telling me to keep my cool. Ren doesn't know Toka's a spirit, and if we overreact, her cover's blown. I was just caught off guard, is all. Toka-chan, 
今のはヨシノもびっくりだよ本当に大丈夫手とか切ってないそれは大丈夫なのうん、いや、what's going on? What's the matter, Toka? すまんしど、茶碗を割ってしまった何言ってるのお茶碗よりトーカちゃんの体の方が大事だよ怪我がなくて本当に良かっただ,だがリンネこれはこれはシドウが私に買ってくれたものなのだ大事にするとお約束したのにごあ,あごめんなさい私そんなつもりじゃどうしようどうすればいいのかな It's fine, Toka. We can buy another one together. Of course. Anyways, how are you feeling? Interesting. Hmm. Hmm? What makes you say that? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I think she's losing it. I think it's time. We're gonna have to kill her. True. You can't overeat. That's the thing. She's right, Toka. Maybe hold off in seconds. I know you're hungry and I know it's delicious. Yeah, how about that? I don't know. What's your favorite dish? Yeah, be ready. Be ready for it. Okay, yeah, you'd be a good girl. Okay. Good idea. All right, let me help. Okay. What practice? Practice? What are you talking about? Oh, lacrosse. Okay. Sure. Oh, really? I dug it into the deep recesses of my mind for any kind of confirmation. Oh, yeah. I guess I somewhat recall Ren heading out early. I mean, yeah, sure, you can count on me. Besides, it's my job. Ren, you really do spoil us. Alright, yeah, no problem. I'll clean up your dang mess. Yeah, don't worry about it. Get going. Oh, 
Okay. Here's what I'm thinking right now. Here, here's what I'm thinking right now. We're going to find a spot to wrap it up, okay? And then I'll tell you why. Okay, I'll be right out. What is it, Koto? Wait, when did you put that ribbon on? Uh-oh. Forget the... Okay, forget the ribbon. Oh, what do you want to tell me? Actually, Toka, go on ahead and wait outside. I'll be right out. Yeah, I got it. Evil, yeah, evil sister mode activated. Um, the funny thing is, I'm responding to these things before my lines come up, and most of the time, whatever I'm responding to is actually what Shido's saying, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So, what's up? What do I have to do? I have to go make out with, um, I have to go make out with, uh, what's her name, Toka? Yeah, but wait, don't tell me a new spirit's emerged. Then what do you mean? Yeah. yeah I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna have to sleep with her. I saw it. Okay, I'm gonna have to like make out with all of you or something. <sighs> it's a, you know, it's, it's a crummy job, but somebody's got to do it. Of course. So love helps keep them in balance. I don't know how else to show them love. All right, what's going on over there? Okay. I'm gonna stabilize these spirits. I'm gonna stabilize them. Feel like he just walk in, unbuttoning his stuff. I'm like, come here, you're getting stabilized. That that sounds kind of bad. But they but they want it. It's all cons uh, consensual, is what I'm saying. They like getting stabilized. Yeah, they're, they're only stable when they're with me. I got it. I got it. I know. So we got to go on dates. I need you to go on more dates. Uh, yeah, why does it feel like I'm getting deja vu? Okay, you're right. You're right. See? Alright, we all have to do our part. If there's anything I can do, then you bet I'll do it. But what? Oh yeah, I'm not invincible anymore. I've got to, I've got to be careful. I could die. Even so, I'm the only one who could save you, Toka. I, I, I'm the only one who could save you, Toka, and Yoshino, right? Guess I have no choice. How so? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Gotta do it for the team. The whole good of all of the team. Uh, sure. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did promise, I suppose. I'll do my best. Okay. Got it. Katori, try not to overdo it too, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop right here. Is there a way I can save the game? Um I take it easy. Yeah, I'm uh I'm taking off as well. I said I was gonna wrap up the stream and I got on um you know my little uh tirade. Anyway, yeah, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. <laughs> uh, I'll play more of this game eventually. Like I said, I'll try to I'll try to get one in once a week on this game. Plus, you know, whatever else I stream, I'll probably be streaming something tomorrow. Um. But anyway, everyone have a great evening. And I'll see you later. Thanks again, Flamin', for hanging out. Uh, you too, Uncle. Bye-bye.